So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0450 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0450 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission control system pressure sensor malfunction. And what does this mean? Well, the evap system is there to help contain all the gas vapors inside the gas tank and they get fed back into the engine and get burnt off for emissions. And there's a pressure sensor located in the evap system that monitors if it's working correctly and the onboard computer see an issue with this. So I have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some of the main causes for this would be a bad fuel cap, could be a bad pressure sensor or the inside of the wiring or harness going to the sensor and possibly an evap leak. And so the first thing to go and do when you have any evap problem really is to go check out the gas cap because that is a part of the evap system it needs to be sealed and if the gas cap is bad it's not sealing all the way in there then it could cause an issue so you want to go check it out it might be good but be sure to check that rubber piece that seals it up and that it's not cracked or anything along these lines that it's going all the way in and be sure that's good if it looks bad go ahead and replace it be sure to get an oem gas cap since third party aftermarket ones can cause issues sometimes but first thing to do go check the gas cap and the next thing to do is go check and see if you think there's any evap leaks around the hoses that run around inside the evap system they'll run from the gas tank underneath the car to a charcoal canister on up to the top of the engine to a purge valve and just if you could just go around and check all these hoses and check to see if there's any obvious leaks or anything like this any cracked hoses or anything because this can cause an issue if you took it to a mechanic what they do is they feed smoke into the system and if smoke came out then they know there's an evap leak and they'd fix it but you, you likely won't have a smoke machine but you can just go around and, and just check to see if any of the hoses are cracked or anything like this or came loose because evap leak can't cause issues with this and could cause this code and so if you got around you checked all that and all looks good then very likely there is some kind of issue going on with the pressure sensor and this can be located differently depending on the toyota year and they can be located up inside the engine compartment on some. Here's a 2001 Toyota Tacoma. It's located up inside the engine compartment right along the firewall. And sometimes they can be located up by the charcoal canister, which is up and underneath the vehicle by the gas tank. And this is another common location. And on some Toyotas, they'll be located on the fuel pump. And then we call it the fuel tank pressure sensor. So it, it could just vary on where they put this sensor. So the first thing you want to do is you want to Google and find a diagram for the evap system for your particular year of toyota and find that pressure sensor and where it's located so you could go examine it and once you find the sensor the first thing to do is go and check out the wiring be sure the wiring's all good because any open short bad connection anything like this is going to cause the same issues as a bad sensor so you want to make sure that's all good and possibly check for any blowing fuses or anything that's on the circuit Basically, be sure that the wiring's all good. And if that all looks good, then very likely that sensor is bad. And so what do you do if you have a Toyota with the P0450 code? Well, first thing to do, check that gas cap. Be sure the gas cap looks good, that it's sealing, that it's in there all the way, and that there's no issues there. If that all looks good, then go around and check all the hoses in the EVAP system and see if there's any leaks going on. Because any leaks inside the system could cause this sensor to get thrown off and not work correctly. So you want to check for any possible leaks. If that all looks good, then the next thing to do is, is locate that EVAP pressure sensor on your particular Toyota since there can be some differences. So you're going to want to locate that. And once you do, check out all the wiring going to it. Be sure it's good. Be sure there's no open shorts, anything like this. And if that all looks good, then very likely that sensor will need to be replaced. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0450 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.